were facing under the Catholic Church's rule, the Jewish community in particular was severely oppressed. The Catholic hierarchy in Spain held many councils to solve political and religious disputes. In these councils, severe edicts were issued against the Jews of Spain. One, one of the clauses in the te text of the proceedings of the Fourth Council of Tol Toledo, 633 CE, states, We decree that the sons and daughters of the Jews should be separated from the company of their parents in order that they should not become further entangled in their de deviation and entrusted either to monasteries or, the t or to church or to Christian. God-fearing men and women, in order that they should learn from their way of life to venerate the faith and, edu and educate and educated on better things, progress in their morals as well as their faith. Hence the children of the Jews were to be forcefully converted to Catholic Catholicism. Jews weren't the only ones facing tyranny, but they were easy targets. They were a minority with a different way of life distinct from their Christian persecutors. So when the Muslims arrived, Jews were the first people to greet them as Saviour Zion Zohar, a Jewish American historian, confirms the appreciation that Jews felt for the Muslim arrival. Thus, when Muslims across the Straits of G Gibraltar from North Africa in, in 711 CE and invaded the Iberian Peninsula, Jews welcomed them as liberators from Christian persecution. This was the beginning of the Golden Age. As far as the Jews were concerned, the behaviour of the Muslims in Spain was not different to their conduct in Syria and Egypt. They facilitated freedom of religion for all people, regardless of any differences. This was a long-awaited opportunity for the Jews to flourish and make progress. Prior to the Muslim arrival, the Jews couldn't imagine having religious freedom. They were facing extinction at the hands of the Catholic Church. Zion Zohar summarized the benefits Jews reap from the Muslim protection as follows. Born during this era of Islamic rule, the famous Golden Age of Spanish Jewry, circa 900 to 1200, produced some luminaries as statesman and diplomat Hasday Ibn Shaprut, vizier and army commander Shmuel Ha-Nagjid, poet philosopher Solomon Ibn G Gabriel, and Judah Halavi. And at the apex of them all, Moses ben Maimon, also known among the Spaniards as Maimonides. Heinrich Gratz, a 19th century Jewish historian, expressed similar sentiments regarding Islamic rule. It was in these favourable circumstances that the Sp Spanish Jews came under the rule of Mahometans, Muslims, as, the, as whose allies they esteemed themselves the equals of their co-religionist in Babylonia and Persia. They were kindly treated, obtained, obtained religious liberty, of which they had so long been deprived, were permitted to exercise jurisdiction over their co-religionists and were only obliged, like the conquered Christians, to pay poll tax. Thus the Islamic rule proved to be one of the best things in the history of Judaism. The Spanish Jews reached such a high level of learning and progress that they could now claim to be world leaders of Judaism. The Jews were certainly saved from extinction by the Muslim conquest 
of Spain. Moreover, for the first time, the three Abrahamic faiths were able to coexist alongside one another in peace and harmony. Maria Rosa Monaco, one of the authorities on medieval European liter literature, authored the book Ornament of the World to pay her respect to the peaceful coexistence between three Abrahamic faiths in medieval Spain. Sadly, the ornament of medieval Spain was destroyed after the departure of the Muslims, as Spanish historian Ulick Burke puts it painfully. The institutions that had flourished under the Muslim died when the Muslim departed. And after four centuries of light and learning, Andalusia fell back under the Christian rule into a condition of ignorance and barbarism, nearly if not quite equal to that of the northwestern provinces of the peninsula. This culminated with the Spanish uh, expulsion of 1492, an edict issued by Catholic monarchs of Spain ordering the expulsion of Jews from the lands. This was not uncommon as between the 13th and 16th centuries, European centuries expelled the Jews from their territory on at least 15 occasions. 